In this video, I'm going to cover the topic of proper clearance between the mechanism linkages and the front rail, in this case on this sofa. So the, the mechanism links travel through this area, and uh, in some conditions where there has been a lot of weight put onto the mechanism, um, it can either be that or people sitting on the armrests these larger flat armrests have a tendency to attract that type of uh, behavior. And as you can see, the, the armrest, there's nothing going from the bottom of the armrest to the floor. So all the support for the armrest comes from the mechanism and the seat box that is up in this area behind all the upholstery. So uh, typically when someone sits on the arm, what will occur is the arm will pull out at the top and go in at the bottom. And what that will do is cause, you know, essentially a sagging of the mechanism linkages, which I'll show you here. These are all the linkage uh, joints that have to pass by this location. I'll operate the mechanism just a little bit here so you can see this is the clearance that I'm talking about. Um, obviously, there's there's proper clearance at this point. This, this piece is uh, brand new. Um, but there are situations where that clearance can become very small or even hit the front rail. One way to address this in another video is to modify this angle so that uh, there is more clearance. Um, this metal uh, enforcement, uh, reinforcement that goes across the front is uh, very heavy, as you're probably aware, and um, uh, there's plenty of support there. This this one, as I said, I have already modified this one. So I'll take you to the other side of the furniture to show you another solution for gaining more clearance. And what that is, is to uh, take out the two bolts that are securing the bottom of the mechanism to the rail and to place spacer washers in there to generate more clearance between the mechanism and the rail. Uh, in this case, I installed three washers, uh, which increases the clearance by about three eighths of an inch, which uh, compensates for a considerable amount of sag that has occurred. Once you put the washers in there, put the bolts back in, and you will have more clearance between the mechanism and the front rail. To make the modification to the front rail, I will use a reciprocating saw and a steel blade to remove the material. And now you can see the completed modification. Uh, the material that I removed here was about a quarter of an inch of steel. Uh, after that, then you will want to uh, deburr these edges using a file, both on the inside and the outside, to remove any sharp edges, and then put a coating of black paint on there so that the steel has proper rust protection. And that's how you complete this modification.